Hey YouTubers, I have kind of an unusual video for us here. Uh, what we have here is a major power strip failure. Uh, the story behind this, yesterday um, my daughter had been using this, had a few different appliances plugged into it, was rearranging things in her room, unplugged everything from it, moved it to another outlet, essentially, and it burst into flames when it was plugged in. Um, of course, there was screaming, yelling. I came in. The thing was laying on the floor. She thrown it on the floor. Luckily, on tile, it was still plugged in. It was still energized, and you could hear and see a very loud and very brightly visible power arc back in this area here. Flames were shooting out of it. It was fully engulfed. Smoke was rolling out of it. This is a metal case one. Uh, it is a it was thing woods full protection. It looked to me like a pretty high quality one compared to other ones I've seen. Um, had never had any kind of problem with it in the past, although it has gotten used quite a bit. Um, we do get power surges, but it, I mean, it was still working. Stayed energized and continuing to feed heat into this portion here and making the flames. Now there was flames shooting out of all of it. And you can see this, even the soot all the way up here. Uh, it was concentrated down here where you could see the arc. It's, it didn't trip the breaker in the house, which is also disturbing. Um, I don't know why it would have had such a catastrophic failure at this end when the fusing and everything is up, up on this end. Uh, the switch, power switch, and the, and the reset fuse is up here. And why those didn't break when this failed, why the, uh, it didn't trip the fuse here or the fuse at the on the house end, I don't know. Um, Picked it up, still in flames by the electrical cord, snatched it out of the wall, carried it outside, and here it is. I've taken all the screws out of it and fasteners, fasteners I can find. We're going to go ahead and try to pull it apart and look and see what's, what happened to the inside. See if we can figure out what's going on with this. You can see the end of it here. Adjust the camera a little bit. Where the fuse block is and the power switch. It all looks okay. Now there is a little char into those wires. Here's where the main damage is, is where the where we saw the arcing. And this is separated. This is one of the power transfer bars here. I see it is separated off of the plug and not clamped anymore. It looks like it burned through where that connected into the into the plug portion. And I guess those are clipped in these little clips right here and that's where the most damage is and that that piece is apparently melted off and that's apparently where the electrical arc came from I would I guess from that I don't know what it would have grounded against to cause that arc though so it just was loosely making contact it still should have just continued to flow current through the plug so I'm not an electrician. I don't know what really happened to it. Let's see if we can get get this totally separated and look at that plug a little bit closer. I don't have any other tools on me. Let's see if we can just pull it out. See, that's firmly it's firmly in there. This one, and they come right out of there. It's the white wires just just kind of popped in. The black wire seems to be clipped in there still very well. There it came out. You can see this is totally charred. You can see the burns burning in here. There was a lot more flames than what it, it looked I thought there would be more damage on the inside considering how much flame there was coming out of the outside of the case. And I would imagine that was, I guess, just this insulation burning. And I do see some charring on this one too. And a lot of smoke damage, soot damage is everywhere. I don't see any charring on that side of it. I've always thought these things were pretty dangerous, and like I said, I'm not a, uh, I'm not an electrician. I'm not sure what the cause of this one failing so dramatically was. Um, I've heard from, you know, fire officials and stuff that they are dangerous and they do go out after a while. I don't know why the circuit protecting feature of it wouldn't have automatically snapped on when this failed, regardless of really why this failed. I don't know why this portion of it wouldn't have protected it from having a continuous open circuit like that in an arc and fire. 
even after this you can see we lost quite a bit of length in that wire and I guess that was what was causing all that heat was this actually getting welded away by the arc heat that set the plastic on fire you can see that one see how much wire we lost there there's more of it if anybody has any comments or any thoughts on why they think this thing failed or any more you know thoughts in general on these devices I've gotten gone through the house and just gotten rid of all the rest of them um, I had some other type surge protectors I used for the computers I had a few of those extras and um, I've just gotten rid of these this type power strip completely I would have always assumed and I always look for these to get the metal cases I would assume that they're safer because you don't have the metal case to burst into flames but it doesn't matter because it still created a uh, pretty good fire without even the case having to be involved in it. The case isn't damaged, it didn't flame it, it may have flamed a little of that paint. Uh, but the fire was actually coming from the plastic of these wires and the plastic of these um, these outlets. I don't see any way to get into that when it's riveted to get in there and see any, if I can see anything else. It looks to me like this wire here, the white wire may have just gotten loose may have just gotten loose in its fitting that started the arcing. It seemed like a very major problem for such a, such a major fail that it had. And like I said, I still don't understand why the, why the fuse circuitry here didn't protect us and shut it off. All right, well, thanks for watching. This is our uh, complete power strip failure and fire video. See you all later.